Hey, good afternoon, CRST drivers and independent contractors. Perry Moser here. It is Thursday, May 21st, and just bringing you your daily update. So I want to talk about fatigue, as I always do. Uh, keep your fatigue in front of you. Got a great, great safety message um, or tip from uh, one of the finest pair of drivers, driving duo and team I've ever met, uh, Stephen Windy. Uh, Stephen Windy sent in a reminder they know that when it's time to pull over, when they can't remember five seconds ago what they saw or what they listened to on the radio, they know, hey, that's it. It's time to pull over. Um, another great tip about pulling over at the rest stop, if you can't find a space in the, in the truck stop to park, stop the truck, get out, do a walk around. Good time to look at equipment, but also just a good time to get the blood flowing and just going to wake up a little bit. Go another 15, 20 miles down the road, find another place to stop. Hopefully that one's open where you can actually get yourself some rest. Or as Steve would say, 20 winks. But Steve, Wendy, thank you as always. Um, again, one of the finest, finest pair of drivers and team that I could ever imagine. So thank you so much, Steve and Wendy. Uh, second thing I got today is around uh, safety as well, uh, low bridges. So we had somebody take off the uh, top of a trailer again. The trailer then folds in half. Because uh, you take away the support. And we had somebody hit one in Worcester, Mass today. Uh, 12 foot bridge. Uh, obviously, a 13 6 trailer doesn't fit underneath a 12 foot bridge. Uh, following the GPS. So, as we talk about a million different times, following your phone GPS is going to get you in a lot of trouble um, as far as low bridges. Uh, I can tell you this even um, if you're looking 15 seconds ahead, there isn't too many low bridges on highways. So you should be able to see those low bridges even if you're looking ahead, even if you do get lost. But remember, anything that isn't greater than 13 foot six, we're going to take the roof off of the trailer. And quite frankly, that's a serious accident. You're going to get sighted. It's going to be on your record for a long time. Not to mention, it destroys the trailer and probably will damage the freight inside of it as well, too. Heaven forbid we damage a bridge and cause even more destruction or unsafe things for other people. So please, don't follow your phone GPS and look 15 seconds out ahead so let's not hit any low bridges. Uh, second or third thing I got is anniversaries. I got two today. I have Bambi from Columbus, Georgia celebrating one year with us. And I have David from Kissimmee, Florida celebrating one year with us as well. Um, quick reminder, this weekend is Memorial Day. Um, I asked the driver managers to keep sending out messages about holiday. Remember, you know, thieves are out there, uh, cargo thieves. Cargo theft is really a crime of opportunity. Leaving the trailer doors open, unlocked, unsealed leaving your tractor doors open, unsecured. Listen, these are out there. They're everywhere. Please be careful over the weekend. Also, as a reminder, uh, I like to call them the rookies. The rookie four-wheelers are going to be out there, right, um, in masses. And, and you're going to have campers that are broken down the side of the road because they have a flat tire, and heaven forbid they have a spare tire with them. Um, things like that. You're going to see a whole lot more of it this weekend. Holiday weekends are always dangerous out there. Please be safe out there. Those of you that are going home for home time for the holiday, Please remember, sleep schedule. I know it's hard. I'd be silly if I sat here and said everybody's going to stay on their sleep schedule. Please, if you don't, make sure you give yourselves that 24 hours. Make sure you get back on your sleep schedule before you get back behind the wheel. There's nothing that makes you more susceptible to fatigue than being off your sleep schedule and coming back for that first driving shift, trying to stay up all day and drive all night. Please just don't do it. Okay? I appreciate that. That's all I got for today. Stay safe for the rest of the day. Thanks.